Welcome back folks. Um, seems like we got a bunch of different projects going on at the same time, but today we're going to be starting doing some rock. So not sure which video is going to come out first, if the siding video is going to come out first, or the painting video is going to come out first, or what's going to come out, but this is all going to be rock through here. And uh, our rock has come in already. So let's take a look what that looks like. So we're just going with this uh, Versetta stone for ease of install and just everything. Um, and it usually it looks pretty nice, the displays I've seen. But it looks like we've got some cracked ones already. So we'll see. We'll see what these look like. We'll get them unloaded, see how many of them are damaged. But that is what the stone will look like. So it's very exciting. And I think the cap, we decided to go with the charcoal cap. So hopefully that looks good. They didn't have the cap and also that the sand color. They had to do a charcoal one, but that's fine. We'll see, uh, we'll see what it looks like. And if anything, we will uh, just paint that rock as well. So here we go. So to get started, we went ahead and laid out a synthetic um, underlayment here on the walls um, underneath the rock. And we've also already started the starter strip. So we had Tyvek here already, but we just went ahead over the top with the synthetic material. Um, and uh, here's the starter strip. And it's got a little, these, uh, the stone has a little bit of a lip. I don't know if I could show you that it locks into that starter strip. You can kind of just see it there. So that locks it in and holds it in. And then up top, you put in screws through this metal plate here. And uh, here's a, I guess, a side view of what that starter strip looks like. And then it's got holes in the bottom for water and everything to drain through. So um, we are pretty much ready to start cutting. Um, I got a tile saw set up here with the rigid, uh, I don't remember what exactly kind of blade it is, but you can use it either wet or dry. And for this stuff, it's actually recommended to cut it dry. So uh, we're all set up. We're gonna start cutting and uh, get some of these screwed into place and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So the reason for the uh, underlayment, um, you can see it's got this groove here, and if any, say this next piece up top, water runs down, it's supposed to go into these grooves and then run out to either side. And then when you install these, you don't even have to caulk, caulk the butt-to-butt uh, -butt joints, or any of them for that matter. That's why uh, we're doing that extra layer of that synthetic waterproofing, um, or underlayment, I guess, just to help kind of Give us peace of mind that whatever water does get back there will run out of there and not cause any damage to the plywood. So yeah, the manufacturer that says you don't even have to caulk or any of these joints, which is uh, kind of crazy. Um, for the cap, for the cap, we probably will. Obviously we will, like 
right here where the LP siding plugs into it, but that's about it. Um, and so these here are light boxes. I am going to repurpose them and I got to cut them out like this and I'm going to use them actually for outlet boxes. So uh, not exactly sure how that'll work out, but we'll see. They sell uh, specific outlet boxes, but for the outlet boxes that I went with, their outlet boxes are too small. So we'll uh, see if we can make these ones work. So all of our Versetta stone is finished up and we've already got even gutters installed. So let me show you around. I'll start from this front side, I suppose. And we just ran it back to the back corner. And then here's going to be a receptacle box. So this was ended up being a light box that they sold. And then I cut it out. And as you can see down here, I had to notch it out to have this tab so the box will actually close, but you actually need to be able to get your finger in there to open it. So these were uh, kind of a custom retrofit for this. And this is the sand, I believe it was the ledge stone. And then they don't have the cap to match, so we decided to go with the charcoal, um, charcoal cap, and obviously a charcoal um, box around the outlet there. So here's the, how the corners come together, you can see looks pretty darn good we are happy and we love the way that it turned out so coming out around here we got another receptacle there and then more of the just the way everything came together worked out so nice got the drip edge on top so any water coming down the siding will run down and drip off and then they have uh, this lip, so when the water runs down, it'll get to here and drip. It won't, you know, it doesn't. It's not flat here, so it won't actually go back. It'll drip off the point. Okay, and lastly, this corner here, we just had it come out to the door, and same thing, another outlet here, and yeah, looks like the rest of it looks pretty awesome. Um, I didn't do most of the work on this stone. My brother and brother-in-law did pretty much all of it. So big thanks to them for uh, helping out and helping us get this done. So appreciate it, guys. All right. And thanks to all of you for tagging along and watching this video with us. Appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Take care.